Hi you guys. I made a couple videos on the 4th of July, but um, it's already past the 4th of July, so I'm hoping that I would be careful not to allow these videos not to get corrupted. I'm going to do my best, so before I do that, it'll be a while. So we'll still be in the summer, though, by the time. I used to make this pasta salad when I used to do catering. And it's really easy, simple, and it's just a really good pasta salad. Um, I'm going to make it because I just want to have it. <laughs> so you could use like a raviolis, you could use tortellini. I use tortellinis are really good. Uh, the rainbow ones and um, uh, well, I wouldn't use the ravioli. I'd do the tortellini because that has like the cheese inside and then with the pasta and then the, the veggies with that and that cold salad. Oh, so good. And then um, I use this one, fusilli. I hope I said that correctly. And um, it's like little spiral noodles that, um, and this is a wheat one. So, this is a, a, a wheat one, and I just, I wanted to, I'm, it says made with bronze platters, plates, bronze plates, okay, so it's a basically a macaroni that's spiraled, and, um, and what you want to do is you want to bring to a boil a big huge pot of water, and that's ready, and then add some sea salt or some salt of your choice. I don't like it too salty, so I don't add that much. And um, and then that's going to be for blanching your vegetables. You're also going to want to get a bowl like this. Add a little bit of water to it. You want to add some ice to it. So I'm going to get some ice and put it in there. Oops. I'm not supposed to be eating pasta. <laughs> I'm a pasta lover. And I'll tell you, <laughs> you want me to stop. Now, when I was a kid, you couldn't get me to eat. <laughs> now that I'm, my, I'm in my whatever age later in life, um, I love eating. <laughs> and that's my problem, I think. So, I thought, just stick me on the island somewhere, <laughs> and I think I'll do good, <laughs> I'll do well. Anyways, so I have my water boiling, right? Okay, my water's boiling, oh, basically what you want to do is blanch, blanch your veggies. So I have some broccoli, you can use cauliflower, I'm going to rinse some of these out, because I see a little bit of... Um, a little bit of soil on there. And just rinse them. Nice rinse. And it's nice to have them blanch because then the alkaline of the, the green alkaline is going to surface and make your salad nice and pretty. And, and, and it depends on how big you want or how much you want your your veggies to be, right? Some of them I cut in half. And then, basically I'm just gonna dump them in here for a few seconds. Now, until I see that green, and they're, basically they're partly boiled. And then you're going to shock them into some an ice bath so that they can stop cooking your veggies. So we'll call this one, I'm going to call this one a, a broccoli pasta salad. Your larger ones, you want to make them bite size. It's just nice to have bite size. And the thing about pasta salad, you want to make it colorful. So I'm going to take my, my broccoli, I'm going to blanch it in there, I'm going to put it in there, I'm going to put it in this cold water to stop 
the cooking process. Basically, that's what you're doing. And then you could do that with the carrots as well. I'm going to do that with the carrots. I have carrots here because I want carrots in mine. I like carrots. And I usually use baby carrots and cut them diagonally. And you know, you want to equal, equal sizes. Okay, and then I'm going to put my carrots in there. And then, if you want to add some um, broccoli, you can. I'm not going to blanch my celery, and I'm going to add celery because I just kind of like that celery flavor in there. And again, we remove these, and then bring my bowl that I'm going to put in. off a little bit. I'm get a clean towel and put that on there so I could just dry off a little bit. Okay. You don't want a lot of water in your pasta. And so what I did was I, I cooked my pasta. This is already cooked. It's draining. I didn't rinse it. So this is, I'm letting it cool down a little bit without putting it in, I don't, you don't have to do that. You don't have to put it in the water. So, and you, you kind of want to get that, that nice, oops, that nice um, crunch in them. So they still should be a little crunchy. Right. And crunchy and they're not really cooked. Oh. I'll dry these off. And put that in there. And then you have it. I might want to cut those up a little bit more. And see they're nice and cold. I'm pretty much ready. Add your other ingredients, your other veggies. If you're gonna do a beet in this, you're gonna add a beet, then I would add, I would steam the beets, or you can um, actually, um, you can um, roast them, your beets, and add them in as well. And I would do like a golden beet, they have different colors. I could use a red one. But a golden one would be nice as well. <clears throat> so, I'm going to take this, pour it in there. My pasta. And I'm going to go ahead and take these, remove my carrots, place them into it. It's still cold, so it'll cool down. So if you're working in a restaurant, the chef says, go ahead and blanch and shock some carrots. You'll know what he's talking about, or she. I'm going to pour this out carefully. I'm going to squish splash it around. I'm going to add some tomatoes to it. Grab a few tomatoes. Yeah, I'm going to rinse them out. And then add the 
tomatoes. It's going to make a nice pasta salad. You want it colorful. Color brings in so many different nutritional values with your dish. And you know, you have your vegetables, you have your starch, and you want to do another side dish of some corn on the cob or some, um, and, and this will go well with barbecue. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that needs to stay in there just a little bit longer. Meanwhile, I'm going to take some of my onion, looking at this onion and saying, how am I going to cut this onion? I'm going to take the ends off right now. That'll be good. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead, I'm not going to quite chiffonade it, I'm just going to, and you can tear it up with your hands, I'm just going to add it loosely to that. I think these are done, these are nice and cold, or cooled, they've at least cooled down. And I didn't put a lot of ice in there, and dry this out, okay. And then you're going to make like a vinaigrette. So I'm going to add this to it. Actually, you know what? I think I want to slice those up a little bit more. Carrots. Just a little bit more. was basically I'm cutting them into fours these baby carrots and they're a good size if you want to add some um, flat leaf parsley you can but since I have that basil in there that'll be good and then plus I'm gonna make like a pesto vinaigrette which will go well 